398, 390, oh, nine. Wait, where was I? Anyway. When you're looking for new sheets, one thing companies and marketers will highlight is thread count. But what exactly is thread count? And does a high thread count mean a high quality set of sheets and vice versa? What's up world, it's Tony, and today we're talking about thread count. In this video, I'll go over what it is, why it's important, and potentially burst some existing opinions on the matter. Remember, if you want to find in-depth written information, you can find it at mattressclarity.com. And to help you out, I put some coupons for my favorite sheets and mattresses in our YouTube description box below. Now, uh, let's get started, shall we? Before we get into it, let's answer the question, what is thread count? Simply put, thread count refers to the number of threads that are in a square inch of fabric. They are woven horizontally and vertically, and they have different names depending on that. From left to right, you have weft threads, easy to remember, left sounds like weft, so weft goes left to right, and warp goes up and down. Now, I don't have anything funny to remember warp, but weft, left and right, warp, up and down. To get your overall thread count, you add your weft to your warp and that will give you the number. So quick example, if you have 150 weft threads and 150 warp threads, put that together and you get an overall thread count of 300. You may be asking, why is thread count important? Well, if you've seen any of my other sheet videos before, you've probably heard me say it's not as important as marketing will lead you to believe it. And that's because it is used as a big marketing tactic to make sheets seem more high-end than they could be. Really though, thread count is important, it does have its place, but it only influences two things, how soft a set of sheets feel and how hot or cool they sleep. Higher thread count sheets tend to feel much softer, but because there are more threads in that square inch of fabric, they tend to trap heat more. Lower thread count sheets might not feel as soft, but because there are less threads, they have more room for air to flow through, so they'll be more breathable. Also consider that silks, flannels, linens, and microfiber sheets often don't list a thread count, and that's because these types of sheets are measured by their weight and not by their threads. So now the biggest question of the video, what is the best thread count for sheets? Unfortunately, there is no one-size-fits-all set-in-stone answer. A general range is around 200 to 800. Now, I know that's not a very satisfying answer, so let me explain. Thread count will rely on the material used to make up a set of sheets. There are three different types of cotton, so really pay attention there. Egyptian cotton can be spun into finer threads, so they can have a higher thread count that usually caps out at around 700. Traditional cotton and Supima cotton tend to have lower thread counts. I'd see anywhere between two to 300 for Supima cotton and maybe about two to 400 for traditional cotton. Bamboo, in my experience, is pretty consistently at 300, while linens, if they list a thread count, will be very low. And I'm talking super low, like 50 to 150. I am suspicious of sheets with a thread count over a thousand, and here's why. Companies can use two or three ply threads to artificially inflate their numbers. This means that the thread can have two or three fibers within a single thread and that's what they use to artificially inflate it. These threads are often not as durable as single ply threads and they're prone to pilling more too. So if you see something super high, be a little suspicious. Let's take some time to answer some of the most frequently asked questions I've seen about thread count. Starting with, what is the highest thread count for sheets? I've seen sheets range from about 1500 to 2000. And if there's one takeaway from this video is that you want to be suspicious of such a high number. This could be a company taking advantage of the marketing hype and artificially inflating their numbers by using lower quality threads. I'd recommend really not going over 800 to about 1,000 if you're looking for high thread count sheets. Second and final question, how do I choose the right sheets? Honestly, trial and error and what you personally prefer, but here are three things I look at when I'm buying new sheets. The first being materials. 
always look at your materials. Different materials will have different thread count recommendations, and if you're a cotton lover, there are three different kinds, so you especially need to pay attention to the thread count there. Again, thread count does play a part, but maybe not for the reason you're thinking. It really just indicates how soft a set of sheets will be or how hot or cool they'll sleep. High thread count sheets, softer, but a little more stuffy. Low thread count sheets, not as soft, but much more breathable. Finally, price. There are so many other factors that go into making a price for a set of sheets, excluding thread count. This can go from the materials used and how they're processed, to if those materials have been imported, or if a company is trying to get certain certifications like getting their product certified organic. All these factors go into the price more than thread count ever will. There you have it, the ever mysterious thread count explained. Remember, if you want to find in-depth written information on sleep, sheets, bedding, you can find it at mattressclarity.com. And I put some coupons for my favorite sheets and mattresses in the YouTube description box below. Now I've got some counting to do, so I will see you next time. One, two, three, four.